Hi everyone, I thought I would come on and do just a quick video today. Um, I do modifying pacifier videos quite a bit and I'm always asked um, what kind of magnets I buy, where I buy them. So this is where I buy them. I know a lot of people have success on eBay, but I've just found for me that when I go here, I get to really um, search through and look for what I want. So this is the main page from Apex Magnets, and I apologize, I don't have a tripod with me right here, so it's going to be a little bouncy. Um, so <clears throat> the first thing I do is I look at small discs. These are all like bigger magnets, but if you ever are in the need for a bigger magnet, this place sells everything. So I go to the small discs. And here you can just search through and you can either um, look at price, shape, diameter, all of that. If you know the exact size you want, you can always put it in here. Um, but you can go through and look at each one of these and see what suits you. So I know already the sizes that I kind of like, um, but sometimes they run out. So sometimes I do have to order something different. So for example, this five by two, I usually use a six by two. So one of the things I like to use is a six by two, but if for whatever reason it wasn't available, I could always go and look here. Um, so what I do, well, I didn't even need to click on that, but so let me go back. Okay, so here you can see that the 5x2 has a 1.5 pounds pull force. And so you can compare that. Um, you know, sometimes it shows in ounces, sometimes it's in pounds. I think 1.5 pounds is 24 ounces, if I'm not mistaken. One second. Alexa, how many ounces are in 1.5 pounds? 1.5 pounds is 24 ounces. There you go. So 24 ounces. So this definitely has way more pull force than this one. So you can see easily here your pull force and the number of magnets um, for your pricing. So like for example, this one is only 30 magnets for $8, but it's a higher pull force than this one at 50 magnets with like half the pull force. So you can just go and search and see what you want. You know, um, usually bigger magnets typically will have a higher pull force, but again, you have to balance what you're looking for size-wise versus um, strength. So these, I uh, thought I would go through and show you what I typically buy. Um, so you can see here, I'm actually gonna be putting in an order today because <laughs> uh, I am running low on some of my magnets. So the six by one, is a smaller one and I'll show you in here. So the six by one and all my magnets are gonna stick here. Whoop. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna just show you this. Way. So this is my six by one. And it I used it for a lot of um, inserts into Callum's pacifier. The reason I go through so many of them is because I stack more together. So I could probably do like a six, six by two or three, actually probably six by three. Um, you know, that may actually be better if I look. So I'm gonna do a search right now. And I'll zoom in a bit here. So I'm gonna leave my cart alone, go to the main page here, and I'm gonna search six millimeter. And usually it comes up with some options, but I guess it didn't. Well, maybe because I did this. Let's try that again. Six milliliter. No, it's not going to come up. Okay, so here are some six millimeter by three millimeters. Whoop. And the six by three. So it's going to be really thick, um, and I'll show you the difference here. Ugh, got all my magnets sticking together in my little box. So if this is one, don't mind my thumb here, let me change. <laughs> so this is 
one millimeter. So this one magnet is the size of three together. So that's pretty thick. Um, when you look at this one, where's my camera? Here it is. Okay. When you're looking at this one, the top one there, that one is a, I want to say six by two. So it's almost the same size, but just a little thinner. So the six by three, I get 50 magnets, $8.99 for 2.5 pounds. And let me see the six by two. So the six by two that I have on here is $7.99. So it's a dollar less. I get, I don't know how many I get. Let's see. So I get in this one 30 magnets. So this one is 20 more. I get 20 more magnets for a dollar more. Hmm. That's actually way better. The only thing is they're a little thicker and I'm not sure I'm going to use something that's quite that thick anymore. Yeah, so I'm not going to get those. I'm going to stick to my regulars. <laughs> so I... Hmm, did that come off my shopping cart? Let's see. Let's update my shopping cart here. All right, so for some reason that came off when I clicked it. This is my 6 by 2 Okay, so I have three magnets that I typically order. The 6 by one which I showed you, that's really thin. Then I have the 6 by 2 which is a bit thicker. And then I have this large one. It's one and a half inch by one sixteenth inch in disc. And so that is, let me show you. That is this size magnet here. And I will also show you if I can find a pacifier. That big disc, this is what it looks like on a pacifier. It's got a pretty thin profile, um, but it is fairly big. Now, some of the other uses of the magnets, the, the six by one I was telling you about that I use. So here's an example of how I use it and it's inserted with silicone into the nipple and so this kind of goes into her mouth a little bit so there's that one and then I think this is two six by ones but I can't really tell it might be a six by two um, glued there so sometimes I use those too just depends so that's why I am going to place this order for the six by ones, the big disc, and the six by twos. And again, you can easily search for these. Um, you just put in one and a half inch and it'll come up, or options will come up. Uh, so that one that I was showing you, the big disc, the one and a half by one sixteenth inches. So it's 10 for 20. It's a little pricey, but I mean, I've had them forever. The only thing I'll say about these ones is they're really thin and big and have a high pull force. So I find that they will crack and break. Like I probably lost five in this order, um, just over the course of months. Not once I've used them, but like when I'm trying to pull them apart or something. Um, so yeah, I caution you on that. Um, but here you can see all the, the grade, the coating, you know, everything. And um, the pull force is 3.84 pounds. So it's pretty strong, at least that I've found. So I am going to end up placing my order. And hopefully you guys found this helpful. So thanks for watching.